Strings. And Matthew on drums. So, how did Manicle fall into this great, great thing? Uh, I don't know which great, great thing to speak of, but <laughs> how we did form was uh, Amar and I have been friends for a few years now, and uh, you know, he didn't have a band and I didn't have a band, we were trying to get something together, and uh, after a few failed attempts at different bands, we finally found Matt, and uh, since then, it's uh, been pretty solid. I think we had, we had met through uh, your record label, Hard and Heavy Records, actually. Name dropping. Name dropping. <laughs> Distro label. That I do. Yeah. So how did you guys like get into the metal genre of music? Uh, I had an uncle that lived with me actually that moved down from Vancouver. And I, didn't, I wasn't really into music at the time, but he like showed me like Megadeth, like Art and Maiden, that kind of stuff, and it just grew on me. So my story's kind of lame. Yeah, similar with me. My my dad was huge into rock music when he was a teenager, and he played in a bunch of bands. Uh, he showed me just some like some classics like Metallica, Ozzy, uh, Maiden, and uh, he had a bunch of gear from when he was a teenager, and I started playing music, and uh, just took off from there. That's pretty cool. So, like, you're quite a new band, like, you've been playing shows since January, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, what has been your favourite show since you started playing? Uh, well, I guess it would be different for all of us, maybe, but, I mean, I think the best show we played was um, in February, we played with Cauldron and Chainbreaker at CPDs. Yeah. Uh, pretty packed, good sound, and good reception. I think one of our most interesting shows was uh, at Thigh High. We played in a, a punk house with uh, a few of my closer friends. Um, very different atmosphere than we're used to. And uh, Amar broke the show promoter's bomb. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> really embarrassing. Yeah. It's very embarrassing. Did you have nachos at Steve City? We did have nachos. Tons of nachos, tons of beer. I did good nachos. Amazing. Yeah, phenomenal. Pretty good. I had the best nachos, but I would give them a good. Good, you know. So, like, take us through, like, what happens in your jam sessions and recording sessions. Uh, when we're jamming. Oh, you can come in. This is our way, Jack. She's from Brazil. Oh, I'll take that Thank you. This is awesome too. So, uh, yeah, and I don't during our jam sessions, usually we always start like half an hour to an hour later than we say we're going to. Yeah. We just hang out and shoot the shit. <laughs> and uh, finally set up our gear and then start playing the songs that we've been practicing. Yeah. Um, we actually live together. So uh, that makes jamming a lot easier than it was when we first started. Yeah, and like sometimes if we have a new idea, Matt and I will just jam out and kind of uh, figure out some new songs and stuff yeah. like that. So, like, what uh, new music are you listening to at the moment? New band? Yeah, new band. Droid. Um, Droid was the crusher. Um, Strong. Uh, I mean, actually, there's a lot of really good bands. It's kind of hard to, to name on the spot because yeah. I'm totally going to forget. Um, I really like this band called Stinger from Greece. Um, they're really solid. Uh, Evil Invaders from Belgium. Barrel White from Ottawa. Barrel White from Ottawa is pretty sweet. It's a, there's a lot of bands that I can't name right now. That's pretty cool that, like, you mentioned my band from Greece and Belgium because it's like, shows up. 
there's loads of music from elsewhere that like you guys heavy metal is very international I think and um, I mean we're looking to Europe in terms of what bands are coming out right now yeah because uh, that's where the scene is that's where all the fans are really are you thinking of going to Europe like any time well, of course like, you have to save up money and stuff. no time soon but you know <laughs> That's the goal in a few years, if we could play Europe, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Would you, like, with the metal genre these days, like, I think it's all, like, a lot of it, when someone says metal for you, it's like, a lot of people say, like, oh, it's female, or, like, shark music, it's like, what do you think about, like, that metal, that kind of metal? Because it's so much different than, like, old school metal. That's what um, I would say. You wanna add something to that or I don't know. I garbage. I don't <laughs> yeah, I disown that kind of stuff. No, I, no. I wouldn't consider it at all in the same bloodline as, you know, what we play and what we're into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, some sort of watered down pseudo version that people think is cool. Um, I don't really care what other people think about heavy metal in general, so yeah. it is what it is to them and we got our own thing, our own path that we're following. Yeah, yeah. So like, I've seen you guys play once, and you're amazing musicians. How do you get to like that level of playing like that speed and that heaviness to it? How do you refine your sound as well? Practice. I mean, we don't even practice as much as we should. Yeah. Um, it's you kind of find you, time in the yeah, day, you know. But like, you kind of you kind of just dive into it, and um, it kind of turns into its own thing. It's. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's just the chemistry of us working together as musicians have come out to sound like what we do. We didn't really set out to be like, I want to sound exactly like this, and kind of turned out to be what it is. Well, thank you guys for doing this interview with me. Okay, thank you. Oh, no problem. Man. Thank you. This is the manacle. I'll put like a little link to your stuff on the video and stuff. So that's cool. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. Awesome. Oh, Should I stop? Oh, yes.